here's brain pop so on the home screen you have all the subjects you have a dashboard you have a quiz mixer brain pop 101 you can scroll down to see recommended topics by grade fourth grade in december should be working on dialogue simplifying fractions pearl harbor winter holidays computational thinking all these things and at the bottom is how you get to the different brain pops so first thing i would suggest is to go to brain pop 101 this shows you all the features that brain pop has movies challenges are like the higher order thinking um assessment task really a good piece to throw in for your students who are your gt kids or the ones that get done fast this gives them an opportunity to enrich what they're learning related readings this gives you multiple um readings that go along with the topic sometimes it's in the form of comics sometimes it's in the form of um trivia sometimes it's just an article primary sources quizzes these are the ones that are built in that go with the movie you have a game you can make a map you can make your own brain pop video using the characters also for teachers up here in this quiz mixer you can make your own quiz that goes with the video or a certain topic in order to find your classes you're going to go to dashboard here's my dashboard it is connected to my google classroom you can see that i have some assignments already assigned to my social studies classes um, I don't have any maps made or movies made. I didn't code anything and I haven't made a custom quiz yet, but I'm going to go through the steps to show you how to assign to your students. So once you have your classes in, whether you put them in, whether they connect it to your Google classroom or other LMS system, it's really easy. So topic i am teaching multiplication right now multi-digit multiplication so i want them to watch the movie my kids don't really pay attention sometimes to movies so i'm gonna go ahead and put some pause sets in there this is where that pauses the video and has them answer a question and they can't move on until they answer so this will keep them engaged I'm also going to have them do the graded quiz. And I'm gonna throw in the challenge on the review mode. That way, if they get it, great. If they don't, that's okay too. We're not gonna make a map or a movie this time. No coding. Vocabulary is already on my word wall. I don't have time to make a quiz and let's check out to see if there's any related games uh, multiplication blocks great next i am going to select the classes you can either select the entire class or specific students if you know that a student needs more help or if you want to do assign the challenge ones just for your higher kids you um can do that here so i'm going to go ahead and just assign to all math kids next we're gonna call it oh my goodness multi-digit multiplication um we're gonna make it do And I'm going to schedule it for tomorrow. So I'm out tomorrow and I don't want them to see it until they're there with the sub. That's how we schedule it. And here's what I've got. Movie with some pauses, then the quiz, then the challenge, then the game. If I want them to do the game before the challenge, I can adjust the order all right there and then assign it once it is assigned i can see what the students see 
So when they open up and they see, go to their dashboard, they see that they have a an assignment, multiple, multiple, multi-digit multiplication. And here's all the things that they've got to do. And they're like, oh my gosh, Miss Corinne has lost her marbles. There's so much to do. Can a student go through and click the challenge first? They absolutely can. So that will be where you need to make sure that if you're leaving for a sub or if you have an intern or something like that, that they are watching the kids also. You'll be able to see it on your teacher dashboard as they do it. You can see if they went and just played the game or just watched the movie. You'll be able to see each individual part and how long they stayed on it. So anyways, they click on the movie and then they can go through the whole assignment. When it's done, you on your dashboard will be able to tell that zero kids have done it out of 19 so far. Once some of them are done, you can click on here and it will tell you each part if they're done not done you can export their grades you can share it to google classroom or just the link all the different things you can do as little or as much 